What is the tea, honeybee? It's me, Candy Muse, and bitch, I am back for my second video here on YouTube. And bitch, once again, it's a collaboration, because bitch, I ain't never gonna be alone in this channel. Per. I am so excited because I have the one, the only, the makeup mogul, Patrick <laughs> Yes! I'm gag, bitch. I'm, I'm gag. My second video, already collabs, bitch. I'm gonna get a mansion real fucking soon, bitch. It's gonna be popping. Now, whether you are here coming from Patrick's channel or you must have stumbled upon me from watching Drag Race, bitch, before we get anything popping, make sure you subscribe, Ooh. like the video, share, Ooh. comment, all that, you know, all that good stuff. Ooh. Yes! How are you? Good. You are a full on YouTuber now. Coming from my motherfucking mm, gang. Yo. Does me a snatch game comes from my gang. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes! If you guys haven't noticed, I am wearing what she should have looked. I was just <laughs> I have the hoops, I have the choker, and what are we doing today? And then I didn't even notice that you don't actually wear hoops in real life. I don't, I don't have my ears pierced. Which, bitch, they're dangling by magic, isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. So, last week, we did a makeup tutorial with me and Mick. This week, baby, we gonna eat some food. Oh, what they call it on YouTube, a mukbang? A mukbang. Is that the correct terminology of the way yes, you say it? a mukbang, yeah. A mukbang. My bitch, you know I love, I love to eat. That's what your channel's gonna turn out to be anyways. All Honestly, it's gonna, gonna be me eating every fucking week. Loves it. Oh my God, bitch, I'm starving. I'm starving. Okay, now, first things first, I have to ask you, mm -hmm. how did you feel when you found out that I was gonna do you on Snatch Game? I was shooting my campaign and on set, and my director, Andrew Valentine, literally sends me a screenshot because that's when the preview went up and it had the little name card, uh. Patrick Starr. Mm. And he goes, bitch. My heart just dropped because we've seen queens that have done them really well mm. and have been scarred and eliminated for it and really not well. So I was like, well, with where you were going and then the, the episode last, you just got saved. Right, the double save. Mm -hmm, gag. Mm -hmm. I was just so like, okay, Candy's doing good. Rue loves her. And I just couldn't wait. It was just funny seeing you in the turban. And I was like, oh, I wonder what the walkthrough's gonna look like. I wonder what the other girls are gonna say. But, you know, I had no doubts because you were repping the big girls anyways. And I was Baby. so happy. I was, really, I was really, really honored because whenever they say, oh, celebrity snack game, I never think of myself as a celebrity. Really? Say, no. No, just like as a YouTuber. Girl, you have to. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was really honored. Mm, I love that. Having done you for my audition tape for season 10, 11, 12, and 13, okay. it was no doubt in my mind. Like, I was like, okay, I gotta play Which this I bitch. found out today that you have been doing me in your audition tapes for the past three seasons. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm gonna right. take these off. We're gonna fucking real dig in. Yes. Guys, here's a little sneak clip of my reactions to her audition tape. Introducing Patrick Stone. <laughs> Oh, baby, we gonna dig into this Miss KFC moment. The thing is, I don't really eat KFC back at home. What do you eat? I do Popeyes or, I, I'm sorry. You usually do like a salad or like tender greens or like something like that. Like. <laughs> Bullshit. I try not to eat fried food now that I'm like on television because you, you, you need to keep your image. <laughs> You have to keep your image, you know what I mean? I said that eight years ago, bitch, and I'm still here the same way. <laughs> you know, rubbing for the big girls, just gotta keep it cute. Wait, so, let me tell you something, real quick. <laughs> if you did not know. What the fuck did you just say? I can't understand shit you fucking said, girl. If y'all did not know, Patrick has a makeup line. I mean, if you didn't know, but you must be living under a fucking rock or something. Mm -hmm. One size beauty. Mm -hmm. Now, Patrick. Is it really one size beauty? We're in an old RuPaul's joke. I don't fuck it up already. <laughs> Can the muse? Sashay? I win. No! I was gagged when RuPaul says, Candy, is it really one size fits all? Patrick, is it true one size fits all? <laughs> bitch, one size fits most, bitch. I love tea. You're not gonna fit some <laughs> You didn't even know at the motherfucking time that no. I even had to make them like, because y'all, in my video, we explained that they were quarantined and filming, and I had launched right when they were quarantined. So. When RuPaul said one size fits all, you were like, yeah, food. I'm a, yeah, I'm, food. I'm a I was bitch. like, oh, one size, yeah, big bitch. I was like, yeah, one size fits most because I'm hungry. Now, there are a lot of people that watch themselves get played on Snatch Game and get offended. Mm -hmm. How did you feel watching me? I, I know initially you were scared, but actually watching it on the television. I was, on the TV, let's reiterate, on the TV, yeah, television. On, on television. I national was... TV. <laughs> On the television, <laughs> on the flat screen, you know, you know. On VH1. In case you forgot. Catching mm -hmm. it on Fridays at 8 p.m. 7 Central. 7 Central. 
I was really, really gagged. Like, we were screaming. I was on the way home from dinner, really, really late. Mm. And I don't have, like, live TV. I have Apple TV. So I, like, wait. I had to wait till midnight. And I was just gagging. Mm. I was trying not to look on Twitter too much. But I had to retweet. I had to post. Like, you know how they show the previews? Yeah. 15 minutes of it. When they did it and they showed, like, the montage, I literally screamed. I love that. I'm not even gonna lie. When I came out of filming... Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, like, I hope I wasn't gonna offend it. Because the whole point, like, when I picked Patrick, like, my whole thing was playing someone's... Sorry, my earring fell. Oh, y'all, the earring done fell. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> when I was picking someone for Snatch Game, my whole thing was, like, someone that I like, someone that I can play easy, and someone that, after the episode airs, you know, we can, like, make something work, make mm -hmm. it happen, like, kiki, like, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was going down the line... And like the people that I chose, like, no, what never happened. And I was like, okay, I hope she doesn't get offended. Like, when the episode airs, because I know people, like, they're very particular about their image. Because I know that sometimes when people tag me on Instagram, like, ooh, this is your twin, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me? You get offended? <laughs> yeah. You know how they're like, um, how like the one ugly friend's always like, hey, twin. <laughs> and you're like, uh oh. I was honored. Like, I, I think Snatch Game was like, I think it, in in a dream world, I was like, oh, maybe one day I'll get played um, by somebody on Snatch Game, but I didn't think it would be now. Yeah. It's just crazy. I was so honored. That's everything. <laughs> but fun fact, I'm pretty sure that Kaylee Davenport was the first queen to do a little bit of Well, to do a little bit of to do, ever do like a male character at Snatch Game. Mm. So she opened the door for, and they didn't show this, but um, during my walkthrough, I actually, I praised Kennedy because she was one of the first girls to do a male character on the show. And, mm -hmm. you know, now we're able to go up there and not only play like women celebrities, but like, you know, like little queer icons too, men. So yeah. Oh yeah. Very, very cool. Four of us. Mm -hmm. I was only thinking about myself. As I was <laughs> yeah. but honestly. Well, I'm excited in the future that we can work together. Oh my God. Yeah. I love it, you know. Going into Drag Race, one thing you never realize is how it opens doors for you after the show airs. And I think that that's something that I never thought was gonna happen, for me at least, because I'm just a little boy from the Bronx. And I'm a fucking... And I'm from Astoria. Mm. Queens, yeah. So you are born in New York? Mm hmm and then I grew up in Orlando. Not a lot of people know that. God, you're from New York City. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna be an LA girl, huh? I am moving to LA. Mm -hmm. I am, I am. I love my East Coast. I love all my friends in the East Coast. It's just like a, a jump, like a jump in your career that like has to be made. Mm -hmm. And there are certain sacrifices that you have to make in order to like make it to that next level. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure even for you, it was hard to leave so Orlando. Hard. LA and Orlando are like two different time zones. <laughs> oh wait, they are because East Coast, West Coast. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, and for you, it's it's gonna be crazy, but it's also life changing. You have your sisters here. You have Got Mick. You have um, mm -hmm. Simone's here. Yeah. I feel like if my friends are really my friends, they'll fly out for me. Wait, how different was it for you coming from Orlando? Crazy. Made friends, made business. I grew. I worked really, really hard. Mm -hmm. You just gotta grind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at you. You over here grinding, doing your content. You know, you know, you don't even live here yet. I know. Planning a trip like to work is so hard because when I come to LA, I just want to like party, party, party. Mm -hmm. But. I'm putting on my business mode hat, my business hat, something mm -hmm. like that. I'm putting something on my head. And like, I'm just like really like, I wanna get this like business going of like Candy Muse because the whole point of going on Drag Race was to elevate who you are as an artist and to take the next step career in your... Mm -hmm. Next, take the next step in Take the next career. step in your career, there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> doing reality TV and doing YouTube are like two completely different things. Mm -hmm. Because here, we have to connect with the audience. Mm -hmm. On TV, you're connecting with the people that you're around mm -hmm. and not necessarily with the audience because there's that, like, that fourth wall. It's a little weird getting mm -hmm. used to. Yeah, but that was fun. This whole channel could be a collab channel. I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, that's work to me, bitch. I think you should vlog. Vlog? Mm -hmm. Show the candy music experience. You know what's funny? We... <laughs> Sorry. Didn't see that there. You know how people always say like, oh, me and my friends, like, we need a reality show. Like, oh, me and my friends are so crazy. I actually need a reality show. Really? It doesn't have to be a, about my life. It could be a dating show. This is me throwing out to the universe. VH1, if you're listening, thank you very much. Who would be on it with you? So here's my ideal reality show. I grew up with like, Flavor of Love, and Out of New York. You would have a, a dating show. And all the VH1 shows, yeah. I would have a dating show. And so the way I would want it to work is, I would want me, 13 other men, and then, and then that's it, me and 13 men. <laughs> um, 
recommend. And then I will have a very special guest every single week. It'll be like a different queen. The queen will like help me decide like which guy will get eliminated. And she'll be like throughout the whole episode. Like she'll be like, there's a challenge, the elimination. And like, that'll be so dope. They haven't had like a real, like a drag queen reality TV show of love. And then it'll be called like a piece of candy. No, actually no. Like, <laughs> Never mind, we don't want that. Like, do you have a cavity? <laughs> no, it'll be called something. We'll start working on that. But this is me shooting my shots, my pilot. VH1, thank you. I love it. What's your type? Mm. I always say I don't have a type, but I do. They all look like him. He's very cute. Y'all were canoodling, and I thought you had a meal before this meal, girl. The, ah! way, the way he was glowing up in here. <laughs> they all look like him, but then it's like, at the same time, like, if we vibe, like, then, like, I'm into it. Also, too, a lot of people assume that you might go for a, a Jolly J kind of thing. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. But Miss Thing over here is far from. In real life, I don't go for guys that look like Joey. Oh, y'all were just pressed. Well, Joey's very cute, but baby, I took, the, I took the chance where I saw it. Wait, so you're a Scorpio, right? I'm a double Scorpio Leo, mm. which is like intense. I'm a Scorpio. <gasps> what day? 11-11. <gasps> I'm 12-12. That's not a Scorpio. I was gonna say, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm no, November 3rd, I'm election day. <laughs> wow. <sighs> what year? 89. No. <laughs> oh no. No. Not like that. Like, oh wow. Thank <laughs> I'm so far away. Bitch! <laughs> Where are you? 97. <laughs> Not totally kidding. 94. Dang. So if I'm 26, 94, you're 89. How many years is that? <laughs> you can just ask. 89. Me. 89. Wait, what? Oh, wait. 89, that's, do you count 89 or no? Anyone know? 90, 91, 2, 3, 4. 26, 7, 8, 31, 2, 32. Is that your final answer? Yes. I'm 31. 32 this year? Yes. Burr, I was correct! <laughs> yeah! Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you look about 29? <laughs> 29? Fuck you, bitch. No, you look gorge. I'm so excited for people to see this face. If y'all could screenshot it, save it on your phones, because then once this bitch moves to LA, God knows what the fuck she gonna look like. Oh my god. Like. like everybody. <laughs> oh, I'm interesting guys to Brandon. This is Brandon. <laughs> Say hi, Brandon. Hi. This is the one who'll be yakking you. Oh <laughs> my god. Yakking so, is such an ugly word. Yakking? Yak. Or you be yakking him. Oh! Y'all look cute together. I know, right? Uh-huh. Me and the monitor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, me and her. Can you cook? <laughs> yes. Okay, I can make pancakes. Mm-hmm. I can make eggs. Mm-hmm. You can make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I cook pasta and meatballs. He was on the phone with me, like, walking me step by step. But then I cut the meatballs in the middle and they were raw. I was like, mm, <laughs> something's off here. And I can pour cereal in the milk. No. Or milk and cereal. <laughs> Do you put your cereal first or last? First. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's the correct <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Well, there are people who do it like like the other way around. Mm -hmm. And those people are psychopaths and <laughs> sociopaths that you do not need to be around. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened to me one time. Tell me. I was away at Drag Race and we had gotten Olive Garden and the breadsticks come in like that aluminum foil. And in the hotel room, <laughs> I got so much trouble. And the, I like my hotel room's cold. So they, they would feel us a lot at Drag Race. I'd be like, oh, I'll save it for later. The breadsticks got cold. So I was like, oh, let me just heat them up. And I threw it in the microwave. In the and back. it started sparking and like little flames. <laughs> so apparently you can't put aluminum foil in the microwave. No. Who knew that? Everybody knows that. At what age did you learn that? Like, they, I, they did not teach you that in school. I did that, I think, when I was, like, eight years old. Well, I didn't have a microwave growing up. I was poor. <laughs> you fucking lie. I'm lying. I mean, I was poor, but whatever. Oh, my God. Listen, I think we have to talk way too much shit here on this channel today. A bitch is fool. You fool? I'm fool. Purr. 
<laughs> I'm full for now. I'll come back to eat this shit later. And hopefully nothing has aluminum foil so I can pop it in the microwave. But nonetheless, I want to thank you all so much for coming to my channel once again. I want to thank you so much, Patrick, for coming to my channel. Thank you. And congratulations on all the success to come. Mm. Gigs, bookings, you're inspiring so many, so many people. Thank you. And not that I have to direct you over there, but you know, you can catch Patrick. Uh, <laughs> link down below, somewhere here. Girl, I'm still working on this shit. Go follow the bitch. Go buy her makeup. Bitch, go buy her some KFC. And let's get it popping. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow. Follow me everywhere. Per, we done. Bye.